So my name is Pranav. I am in my M1 year of the Grand Ecole program. Before coming to EdHack, I worked at ZS Associates and I have a background in engineering. Something I'm passionate about, probably working hard and you know, giving anything you do your all is something that I live by. Essentially, I knew that I wanted to go into business. That business was something I was passionate about. I really wanted to study business in theory and also practice like marketing, HR, all these different domains so that I really understand what goes into a business school. And it would be my first time learning academically business. I wanted to be a brand manager and then I did a couple of courses on marketing and I realized maybe that's not my thing and that's something that if I wasn't in this program, I would have never found out. It did meet my expectations in sort of really telling me about what business is, not only just in theory, but also how would real companies, you know, work with certain subjects. So yeah, I think that combination of theory and practice sort of really helped me meet my expectations for the program, yes. The experience around EdHack in general definitely did meet my expectations. EdHack education is what surprised me because I was still sort of in a sense assuming that I would have to come and pave my own path here. But given everything is so frictionless, I think I would definitely feel that's the biggest difference, right? That the opportunities are right here. That I can just, you know, do. I can contact anybody, be it an alumni, be it a teacher, be it a career center expert and everyone's willing to help. I think that culture is really, really good for, for an international student like me, yeah. In terms of what my M1 has accomplished, I think I know now what domain of business I like and what I don't. I feel like I can cross off a list that, uh, like I mentioned, I, I really like the strategy class that which fully inspired me. I was, every week I was reading a new case and I, rem I felt myself being committed without having to try. It felt simple. I think the thing I enjoy the most is how everyone is really helpful. Everyone who I've approached in terms of alumni, in terms of not just Indian alumni, but if I could talk to anyone French, if I could talk to any teacher, they would give me the time of their day. They were willing to set up Zoom slots to talk to me. And I feel like that was the most helpful thing, the ecosystem, how people were willing to help you. And it could be practically anybody connected to edX. And that was the biggest bonus. And in terms of challenge, assimilating to the culture itself, getting used to hearing French and you can understand what they're saying to some extent and you feel comfortable. So I think that growth is something that has been a challenge in the beginning, but yeah, that I'm definitely getting better at. Coming to EdHack, working in a team has been the norm. Working individually is a lot rarer and I definitely do feel working in a team is better because not only do you get to work on the task itself, but you can also work with people. I learn a lot doing team projects more than I do on my own because doing on my own is just trying to get the task done and working in a team is getting their input, trying to get them to work, putting, getting all of us on the same page. And when we all accomplish together something together, it's like it gives that element of friendship too, right? Because if you do something that all of us do well together, it's maybe all of us wouldn't be friends in a normal environment, but working in a team does give you that.